Decentralized finance, commonly known as DeFi, is revolutionizing traditional banking systems by leveraging blockchain technology to create an open, permissionless, and transparent financial ecosystem. DeFi applications aim to provide financial services, including lending, borrowing, trading, and asset management, without the need for intermediaries such as banks or centralized institutions. In this video, we will explore how DeFi is reshaping the financial landscape, its key components, benefits, challenges, and the potential it holds for the future. Before starting don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So let's start. Number 1. What is DeFi? DeFi refers to a set of financial applications built on public blockchains, predominantly Ethereum, that operate without intermediaries. These applications utilize smart contracts to automate and execute financial transactions and protocols. DeFi allows users to directly interact with the blockchain, providing greater control over their financial assets and reducing reliance on centralized entities. Number 2. Core Components of DeFi A. Decentralized Exchanges DEXs, DEXs enable peer-to-peer -peer trading of cryptocurrencies without the need for intermediaries. They provide a more transparent and efficient alternative to traditional centralized exchanges by facilitating direct wallet-to-wallet -wallet transactions. b. Lending and Borrowing Platforms DeFi lending platforms allow users to lend their digital assets and earn interest, while borrowers can collateralize their assets and borrow funds. These platforms use smart contracts to automate the lending and borrowing process, eliminating the need for intermediaries like banks. C. Stablecoins. Stablecoins are cryptocurrencies designed to maintain a stable value by pegging them to a fiat currency or a basket of assets. They provide stability within the volatile cryptocurrency market and serve as a medium of exchange and store of value within the DeFi ecosystem. Number 3. Benefits of DeFi. A. Financial inclusion. DeFi opens up financial services to individuals who are unbanked or underbanked giving them access to a wide range of financial opportunities. b. Transparency. DeFi applications operate on public blockchains, making transactions and protocols transparent and auditable by anyone. This enhances trust and reduces the risk of fraud and manipulation. c. Lower costs. By eliminating intermediaries, DeFi reduces fees associated with traditional banking services. Users can transact and participate in financial activities at a lower cost, making it more accessible to a broader audience. Number 4. Challenges and Risks A. Security. While blockchain technology offers robust security, the risk of smart contract vulnerabilities and hacking incidents remains a concern. The decentralized nature of DeFi also means that users bear the responsibility of securing their private keys and wallets. B. Regulatory Environment DeFi operates in a regulatory gray area, with existing financial regulations often lagging behind the technology. Increased regulatory scrutiny could impact the growth and development of DeFi applications. C. Scalability The scalability limitations of current blockchain networks, particularly Ethereum, pose challenges for DeFi in handling a larger number of transactions and supporting mass adoption. Number 5 future potential. DeFi has the potential to reshape the entire financial industry. As the technology matures and scalability improves, we may witness increased adoption by traditional financial institutions. DeFi protocols could serve as infrastructure layers for banks, enabling them to leverage the benefits of blockchain technology while providing efficient and secure financial services. Interoperability between different blockchain networks could further enhance DeFi's potential. Projects like Polkadot and Cosmos aim to connect disparate blockchains, allowing seamless asset transfers and collaborations across different DeFi ecosystems. Additionally, DeFi's impact could extend beyond developed countries. In emerging economies with limited access to traditional banking services, DeFi can provide financial tools and services, fostering economic growth and financial inclusion. Number 6. Use Cases and Applications of DeFi A. Decentralized Lending 
DeFi lending platforms allow users to lend and borrow digital assets without the need for intermediaries. Users can earn interest by lending their assets, while borrowers can collateralize their assets and access funds without going through a traditional bank. B. Decentralized exchanges. DEXs, DEXs enable peer-to-peer -peer trading of cryptocurrencies without relying on a centralized intermediary. Users can trade directly from their wallets, maintaining control over their funds and reducing the risk of hacking or theft. C. Stablecoin payments. Stablecoins within the DeFi ecosystem offer a stable value and can be used as a medium of exchange. They provide a reliable and efficient means of conducting transactions within the volatile cryptocurrency market. Number 7. Interoperability and Layer 2 Solutions To address scalability challenges, the DeFi ecosystem is exploring interoperability solutions and Layer 2 scaling techniques. Projects like Polkadot, Cosmos, and Ethereum's Layer 2 solutions, such as Optimistic Rollups and ZK Rollups, aim to increase the capacity and efficiency of DeFi applications while maintaining interoperability between different blockchains. Interoperability allows seamless asset transfers and collaborations across various DeFi ecosystems, enabling users to access a wider range of financial services and liquidity pools. Layer 2 solutions provide scalability by processing transactions off-chain and settling them on the main blockchain, reducing congestion and fees. Number 8. Institutional Adoption and Integration As the DeFi ecosystem matures and demonstrates its potential, traditional financial institutions are starting to take notice. Institutions are exploring ways to integrate DeFi protocols and leverage blockchain technology to enhance their existing financial services. This integration can lead to increased liquidity, reduced costs, and improved efficiency in traditional financial systems. Moreover, Financial institutions can utilize blockchain-based identity systems and decentralized credit scoring to expand access to financial services and assess creditworthiness more accurately. These innovations have the potential to improve financial inclusion and bring services to the unbanked or underbanked populations. Number 9. The Future of DeFi The future of DeFi is promising, with potential advancements and broader adoption on the horizon. As scalability solutions improve, transaction costs decrease, and user experience becomes more intuitive, DeFi could become an integral part of the global financial system. DeFi has the potential to disrupt traditional banking systems, provide financial services to the unbanked, and increase access to capital for underserved populations worldwide. The technology's transparency, efficiency, and programmability paved the way for innovative financial applications and new business models. However, the journey towards mainstream adoption and global impact will require collaboration between DeFi projects, regulators, and traditional financial institutions. By addressing challenges, enhancing security, and establishing robust governance frameworks, the DeFi ecosystem can pave the way for a more inclusive, transparent, and efficient financial future. Decentralized finance is revolutionizing traditional banking systems by leveraging blockchain technology to create a transparent, accessible, and efficient financial ecosystem. DeFi applications offer benefits such as financial inclusion, lower costs, and transparency. While challenges such as security, scalability, and regulatory uncertainty exist, the future potential of DeFi is significant. As the technology advances, collaborations with traditional finance, improved user experience, and increased scalability will drive broader adoption. DeFi has the potential to democratize finance, empowering individuals with greater control over their financial assets and fostering innovation in the global financial landscape. What you think about the video let me know in comment section and don't forget to like share and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates. Thanks for watching.